Um, so guys, um, I'm going to um, make a review on uh, linear algebra homework six. It's about um, eigenvectors. So here's the first um, uh, the first problem. It's actually number three. And so show that u is an eigenvector of the rank one, two times two matrix of a given matrix A equals to U V transpose. I find a find both eigenvalues of A and check that if the uh, eigenvalue 1 plus eigenvalue 2 agrees with the trace u1 v1 plus u2 v2. So first of all, um, uh, you're given this, so let u equals to u1 u2 and v equals to v1 v2. Then, a equals to um, multiply V transpose so it will be like this then it will be like this U2 V1 U1 V2 U2 V2 So, uh, to find the eigenvalue, you need to take the determinant of, you need to take the determinant A minus eigenvalue I2 equals to zero. So, I, eigenvector that multiplies I2 equals to one. Equals to um, lambda, zero, zero, lambda. Here's the result. Then uh, you want to it, subtract uh, this from minus one, of this from the matrix A, I mean. So, it will be this subtracted by this was subtracted by this one will be u1 v1 minus lambda u1 v2 u2 v1 u2 v2 minus lambda so you want to find the determinant of this A equals to uh, zero. Then um, equal this to zero and find a determinant. So we just Multi uh, this multiply, multiply by this and subtract this multiply by this. It's just simple. So you will get something like this. Um, um, v1, u2, v2, subtracted by lambda, u1, v1. Plus u2, v2, subtracted by u1, v1, u2, v2, goes to zero. Uh, you want to factorize this you know, to find the eigenvalue, which is lambda, the lambda variable. So, um, be something like this. Um, I, um, Actually, I'm just uh, simplifying my calculations. Just uh, you can actually do um, uh, factorize this yourself, and you will yield something like uh, this. So, uh, I. 
a has two uh, different value, uh, two different eigenvalue vectors. Uh, so the first factor is zero. Then the second one is u1 v1 plus u2 v2. So there are two eigenvalues uh, factors. Now, uh, our job is not done yet uh, because we want to check whether um, lambda 1, lambda 2 agrees with the trace u1 v1 and u2 v2. There's a, another extra step that we need to do. So now we have to multiply a times u. a u. So u is um, this, this one. Will be equal to u one square v one time plus u one u two v two. Then the bottom part will be one u one uh, u two v one plus u two square v two. Here it is. Now, um, you, need, you also need to multiply uh, u1, v1, u2, v2 with this one as well. <coughs> Sorry. u1 square v1 plus u1 u2 v2 then u1 v u2 v1 plus u2 square v2 so um since as you can see since uh, AU equals to U1 V1 plus U2 V2 uh, U. Uh, then then U uh, is an eigenvector of A corresponding to the eigenvalue of U1 V1 plus U2 V2. Um, then u an eigenvector eigenvector um, of of a corresponding the eigen value of u1 v1 plus u2 v2 so so we also can see that um eigen values eigenvalues of sorry of eigenvalues of a are zero and this one from the equation one, you can see zero and u1 v1 plus u2 v2. So it's um, u1 v1 plus u2 v2. 
um, from equation one, of course. Um, So, and also trace A again um, I can value I can value uh, 1 2 1 plus 2 equals to 0 plus um, u1 v1 plus u2 v2 equals to Oh, u1 v1 plus u2 v2 so it's um, proven um, as as the problem stated it's proven already so let's proceed to the um, next problem mm. So in the next problem, you're um, you are given um, you you are you are to show that a three by three a van der Maan determinant is this this one is equals to b minus a c minus a then c minus b. So how to do it? Uh, we're going to use the row operations to show this this identity. Now, first of all, um, we're going to do some uh, ma basic matrix operations. So uh, we apply row operation. So first, as you as let me re rewrite this. So you can see a little bit more clearly because I'm afraid the writings uh, just are too small for you to see. So here it is. Now we apply row operation. Uh, the new row 2 is equals to row 2 minus row 1. And we also see that uh, row 3 and the new row 3 equals to uh, row 3 minus row 1. So it will be equal to that. Mm, 1 a a square. Here's the second row. Uh, row 1 minus row 2. 1 minus 2. So it will be 0. Then a minus b, then a squared minus b squared. Yeah. Then the third row is uh, the third. This row minus the first row. This will be zero. A minus c. A squared minus c squared. No. Um. We can factorize this to make it more simple. Um, what shall we do first? Um, the determinant is just to make things more easy to um, to see and perceive. You know, so the first one will be factorize everything here, especially uh, especially this one will be a squared a simple algebra a that will be a plus b multiplied a minus b same goes here c and a minus plus c so um you can see the common fac uh, factors uh, in the first and second row. This, uh, the third row, I mean the third and second row. The, th the third row is C minus A. I uh, see, uh, yeah, C minus A. Um, right, where 
second. Yeah, c minus a, and uh, the first, uh, the second row will be b minus a. So it will be b minus a c c minus a that so zero a one one a squared then b plus a c plus a. I think I might write something wrong here. It's supposed to be... Sorry about that. Um, So here's the, the correct one, b, b squared minus a squared. Then you subtract r3, r, the new r3 uh, is equal to um, r3 minus r2. It will be like this. So here's the new R, uh, row three. So expanding the first column, you will get expanding first column. You'll get something like this. Um, B minus A, C A, C mean B minus zero. Oh, I'm sorry, first. So is the determinant. So it will be like this. B minus A, C, C minus A, then C minus B. So it is proved. It's uh, very easy. So let me um, Kind of recap for so first of all just do some basic operations in, in a row and so the first the first step is um a row two so uh, minus row one and row three minus row one then you will get something like this after you get something like this you want to factorize everything to make it more simple and you can you can see the common factors here which is which is b minus a b c minus a you factorize it out then you will get something like this and when you want to eliminate something here just do uh, the row three uh, row three minus row two is something like this so we get um reduce row echelon form some kind of then um, expanding the first column you need to get the uh, determinant you just take this this part then um yeah you get uh, this is the same answer. It's, it's as simple as that. So the the last question is about this one. Uh, find the eigenvectors of a for uh, eigenvalue eleven, and exchange rows one and two and um, columns one and two of a as b. Then find eigenvectors of b for Eigen, uh, eigenvalue 11 compared to res two results. So here's the given matrix. 
and we are to find these um, these eigenvectors. So it's will it will be quite not quite simple. It's kind of tedious, and I will try to make it uh, fast here. And um, I'm not going to write every um, um, every calculations uh, on my paper because it will and it's just um, too much space will be, will be needed. Yeah, so let's proceed. So first of all, um, here's the given for the matrix A. Find a uh, eigenvalue matrix A. Eigenvector of eigenvalue 11 of matrix A, which is this one. So I multiply by. So the first step. <coughs> I'm sorry. get this one four two that's five eight one three five so you want to do some reduced row echelon uh, form of this it's a simple operations so row one equals to uh, row one divided by minus ten. Here we get something like this: one minus eleven over five. Eleven plus mm, row one this will be row one plus row one over minus ten. So three will be um, 3 minus 5, 3, 4, 8, minus 7. So um, looking at this, you can do something like this. Row 2 will be row 2 minus Three times row one, row three. So this will be row three minus four times row one. It will be like this. Is 20, uh, 22 over 5, and um, then you have a 33 over 10, then you have 44 over 5, minus 88 over 5. Then you can do something like um, row through will be. Um, how do you get it? Oh, minus 5 over 22 times row 2. Then row 3 will be row 3 plus 2 of row 1. It will be like this. Just going to write it directly. So minus 3 over 4, 0, 0, yeah. Then you can simplify it more into row 1 will be row 1 
equals row three from it's row three. It's row two over over five will become something like this. There's, um, <coughs> so from here, you can see that, um, V1 minus one over four V3 equals to zero and V2 minus three over four V3 equals to zero. We will rewrite this as eigenvectors. So V will be one over four, three over four, uh, one, three, three, and four. So four, eigenvalue 11, the eigenvector Again, vector of A will be one over four, three over four, one, or you can um, multiply by four, one, three, and four. So here it is. Now let's compare it to the uh, value of eigen of the matrix B. So B eleven identity will become something like this minus five three. 3, 2, minus 10, 1, 8, 4, 7. Now, I'm actually going to um, simplify the process. I'm actu I actually wrote the solution already. So um, it's just basically row, uh, reduce row echelon um, operation. And you will get something like uh, this in the end. One zero zero um, zero one zero minus three over four minus one over four zero v one v two v three goes to zero. Now, so you can rewrite this as v equals to three over four. 1 over 4, and then 1, V3. 4, eigenvalue 11, the eigenvector of V is 3 over 4, 1 over 4 and 1 or you can just um, multiply by 4 so it's 3 1 4 So, as you can see, um, 